Oh, that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna hold a speech about Bob the Builder. <laughs> I'm gonna hold a speech about Bob the Builder fucking my wife. Oh, what the fuck am I? No, no. What even is my life? Oh my God. What even is my fucking life? Okay, whatever. Boom. Let's go. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. There are certain things in life that hurt more than anything else. Breaking your shin. Stubbing your toe. Accidentally listening to a song of Machine Gun Kelly. But I'll tell you something worse. Something that happened to me. I was out walking one day, as I do. I need my walks, because I have a sedentary lifestyle, and I just need to get out there, spread my legs, and enjoy the outside. But one day I had forgotten something. I had forgotten to bring my wallet, because in my wallet I have my bank card, and when I have my bank card, I can buy stuff at the local supermarket. So I went back home, and the door was open. I was surprised. The door isn't supposed to be open. So I walked in and I started hearing moaning. To begin with, I thought that there was somebody in trouble. I thought my wife had hurt herself. But as I grow, walked closer, I realized this wasn't moans of pain. It was moans of pleasure. So I ripped open the door and what I saw would change my goddamn life forever. I saw my wife upside down with Bob the Builder pile driving her face with his goddamn penis. And it wasn't just like any penis. This is Bob the Builder. He had a goddamn Swiss Army penis. He had the big one, he had the screwdriver one, he even had one with a weird shaped head. He had one that had been cut. He was uncut. He was both Jewish and non-Jewish at the same goddamn time. And my wife, she was wearing a hard hat and she had Bob the Builder duct taped to the wall. And she was on a goddamn spinning machine and she was spinning around and I don't know what's happening here but that's what I walked into and she looked at me and she was like no baby let me explain but I the masculine man that I am the man with the most amount of self-respect on the goddamn green earth and I was like no need to explain baby if I'm not man enough for you nobody's man enough to you and I looked at Bob the Builder and I told him he's just after the money you're just being a little bitch yeah I might be the one getting cocked but I have enough self-respect to just walk away she might love you now but when you're old wrinkly and don't have any money because I'm going to report this to the goddamn better business bureau you're gonna have nothing, bitch! And then I walked out. And then I like spent five hours crying in my car, drinking, and then I drunk and drank and dro drove, and then I got arrested. And then my wife told everybody I beat her. And then I was also stuck from my community. <laughs> <sighs> then I ended up doing Souls content, and then I became a YouTuber. Mm, thank you for the inspirational speech. I don't know if I want to call it inspirational. Oh, okay, you know what? The, the first part was inspirational. I talked about having enough self-respect. I am Bob. I've seen you, Yulia, you know? I've seen you. And um, I think... I think you have too good tits to be Bob. I, I'm sorry, I just have to say that. I don't think Bob the Builder has as good tits as you do. Mm. This is a friend of my wife, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I might get in trouble now! Anyways, Queen America. Okay.